All right. Thank you, Amazon. Even out here in the sticks, they got it to me in one day. Seven foot uh, Cat 8 Ethernet cables. Uh, so I can connect my flex boss to my grid boss. Okay, we'll do green for go. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, there it is. Now I did put a piece of conduit in here specifically for communications. I'm using this one here. Uh, I will have to, this will be temporary. I'm probably going to drill out this uh, connector and this is where my neutral wire was. Uh, I'll either put that in there and put my communications through here or uh, I'll drill this out. From my picture, we got the grid boss and the inverter. So the inverter bottom right will go to grid boss top left. And there we go. We got the green one on the inverter bottom right or bottom left. Excuse me. We got the blue one on the inverter bottom right. It's kind of dark. Uh, grid boss top left. We got the green one uh, top right. And down here we got the green one bottom left on the inverter. On the inverter, we got the blue one, uh, bottom right, and on the grid boss, we got the blue one, top left. I got the CTs sitting out here on the handle grip. Uh, if you're using the inverter with the grid boss, then the grid boss has a uh, built-in CTs and you don't use these on the inverter. Make sure that uh, everybody knows uh, if you're using a grid boss with the with an inverter you don't use the CTs on the inverter. The grid boss has built-in CTs in them. Uh, then we're pretty much set up for getting the grid in here. We'll have to uh, gonna have to take and figure out where our connections are coming through this wall here because that's where I'm going and my breaker box is right on the outside there uh, I think that uh, I'm gonna hold off until I get the approval from my electric provider before I actually do that because I want to make sure that if I need something else or if I have to do something different that I'm only doing it once uh, and uh, it's correct. The app that's enabled Grid Boss. So I enabled it. Now, hopefully, that's all it takes. lights now. All right. I got some lights. I got the hybrid light here. Uh, I got my warning off of my uh, inverter. It's now starting to communicate the gut dongle. And I can see I got some blue communication lights I believe up there. Now let me just take my multimeter again and uh, check. See if I got some voltage on uh, Oh yeah, 241. Should be able to 
check and make sure I got 120, 120.3, 120.3. Man, that's right on. That's nice. All right. Okay. Let's try this one more time. So I enabled the Grid Boss on the app on my laptop. When I did, uh, I lost the warning here. I got the hybrid light here, and I also got my dongle blinking here for the Wi-Fi. Uh, I checked the voltage here. I have 240 volts, uh, 120 on each leg. I also see I have some blue communication lights up here. So when you're connecting it to your home Wi-Fi, what you have to do is you have to find the dongle on your Wi-Fi, on your, the easiest way for me to do it is on my phone. Uh, so I find the dongle on my phone and you want to make sure you have the right dongle because uh, your other dongle uh, is either registered or it'll have a different pin. So once I have that, I'm connected without internet. I connect to it with, via Wi-Fi. Then I go to my app, and you have to go and log out of your app. Uh, and then when you log out of your app, you'll see you have a thing here on the bottom that says dongle connect. Go ahead and connect to your dongle, and then it asks you for your Wi-Fi information for your home. Once you enter that, uh, you'll get a notification. It's going to say uh, set up successful. And you can see I already got uh, the three lights up on my uh, Wi-Fi dongle, so I'm good to go.